Yo, what's up guys? It's Josh here from JV8 Studios and today I've got a tutorial here and it is going to be five tips on how to edit your videos a lot quicker and a lot faster and a lot more effectively using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it now. And before we do that, don't forget to push that like button and press subscribe to keep up to date with the latest content. We've got a lot more coming for you guys, so stay tuned. So tip number one for me is no distractions. When you're editing, whatever distraction you have, I know it might be difficult because everyone's got own, their own lives and different things, but for me, it's my phone. So what I do when I'm editing, my phone's on silent or it's off. Otherwise, I'll get messages every minute, emails coming through, but I know when I'm editing, that's my time to just get in the zone, put my headphones on, and I'm just working. And with that, I find the flow, I find the rhythm to my edit and it becomes a lot smoother and my work becomes a lot stronger when I'm concentrated and I'm focused. Rather than if I'm, I'm checking my phone every minute, I lose track, I lose focus, then I have to start re-watching again and then it makes it more difficult. So you work around it and you just find a schedule that suits you so that you're able to avoid your distractions whilst you're editing. Tip number one. Tip number two is have a music library. If you're doing club events, live events, commercial and branding videos, you're gonna need music. You're gonna to need to have a wide selection of music. And people say 80% of an editor's time is spent looking for music. And that shouldn't be the case. You should spend, you know, 80% of your time editing and then maybe 20% looking for music. So if you create yourself a music library that helps you cut down the time you spend on YouTube, SoundCloud, even Spotify, looking for music for your videos. So you just spend maybe a couple hours a week finding the best songs from all different genres that's copyright or you know you could buy the, the lease for it. And then you put it all in the library and you create different genres. So you might have hip hop, then you got cinematic, corporate style. And then when it comes to editing your videos, you have a wide selection of music to choose from in your library that's already there. So you're not searching and outsourcing music on the internet and wasting your time doing that. And then that leaves you more time to be creative and you can spend editing. So that's tip number two. So tip number three, for me, I would say is the most important thing is keyboard shortcuts. The reason why I say that is because for me, it saved me so much time. Like if, for example, if I want to make a cut in an edit, I use Command K or Control K if using PC, depending on what machine I'm editing on um, and that makes an immediate cut in the edit now with that it doesn't it feels like it doesn't take up too much time but when you add it all up the seconds the minutes the the little time that you spend just looking for you know the right click and then you got to cut it yourself it just takes up a lot of time and with the shortcuts it will just save a lot of time a lot of hassle of going through like if you want to slow down a clip you just control R and you can adjust the speed of the clip. So that's another way to save time when you're editing. So tip number four is presets. Now presets are basically um, adjustable settings that you can create or you can download them online of other YouTubers and other videographers. And basically it can come in the form of color grading or text effect or some just any effect that any saved effect or any saved color grade, any saved LUT it will save you a lot of time if you can create your own um, because then you won't have to go on Premiere and keep adjusting the colors every single time. What I normally do now is that I have my clips and then once I've created everything, I just get an adjustment layer, whack it on the timeline above my clip, get my preset, put that straight on the adjustment layer and the whole video has got the color grade on it. So. That is how I save time using the presets. So tip number five is don't keep re-watching your videos. I know it might sound funny and strange, like why would you not re-watch your videos? You're editing them, it makes sense. Like you need to make sure that you're not making mistakes. But what I mean is don't keep watching the whole thing after every cut that you've made. Keep watching the whole thing through. Just chop out as much as you can and be ruthless with your editing. You know, if something doesn't look good, don't be afraid to just be honest with yourself and say, it doesn't work, it's gone. And then after you do that, you ended up with a, with a lot less and then when you put it together, then you can re-watch it. And believe in your editing skills, you know, just believe in yourself. Make sure that you label or color coordinate your sequences and your clips. So for example, 
if I'm editing a music video, then what I normally do is I get, if I have about eight different scenes, eight or nine different scenes in different locations. So what I normally do is I put one scene on, label it or color it green or label it mid shot. And then you get the other one close up and then you might label that blue. And then you just color coordinate all your clips so you know what clip you're looking for. When you want, if you want to get the close up and put that in the chorus, or if you want to get the establishing shot and put that at the beginning, it's all color coordinated and you don't waste your time searching and just racking your brains trying to find this clip trying to find that clip and then suddenly you're lost so the best way that i find is to just color coordinate all your clips and then you know where everything is and it makes it a lot easier when looking for them and you want to know what clip goes where thank you for watching guys this has been jvh studios giving you five tips on how to edit faster that was it and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to reach 1K subscribers. That is our target, 1K subscribers. Right now we're on about 400. So the target is 1K. So everyone just press that subscribe button down below. And also we've got a loads of other videos on our channel as well. So if you could check that out, check that all out. It's all there. We've got music videos, travel films, vlogs, all sorts of things. And we've got loads more content on the way. So stay tuned.